everyone, this is Maki. There's just a bit of new information about Gundam Seed Freedom that has been released. Director Mitsuo Fukuda and composer Toshihiko Sahoshi have made some comments. This time, I'm thinking of trying my hand at playing a bit of the movie's background music. Let's check out the comments then. Mr. Fukuda seems to have finished the task of checking the music that has been recorded. Today, I checked the music. Very good music has been completed towards the end. I was so moved that I shed a few tears. My sensibilities are probably different from many people. So the part where I cried is not where the audience will cry. Sha was in the music. This is an intriguing point. When thinking of parts where the audience might cry, it usually involves scenes where the story takes a significant turn. From the perspective of the creators, tears might be shed over parts that were challenging or had great emotional investment. The comment about Sha being there is also interesting. It seems there are elements in the music that evoke Shazo, a popular character from the Gundam series. Shuichi Ikeda, the actor who voiced Gilbert Duano, is the same actor who voiced Shazo. Will there be elements that evoke Shao in scenes related to Duano? Or perhaps in scenes involving Kiro, the protagonist and Afran, often portrayed as his rival, who frequently pilots red mobile suits. Focusing on the red mobile suit, the Gelduk Minas also evokes Shar. Shar has piloted a red Gelduk in the original Gunan. This is indeed a very intriguing element. Let's also take a look at the comments from Mr. Sahoshi, who is in charge of the music. The music for the movie Gundam Seed Freedom is complete. Yesterday, the track down work was finished. I celebrated my birthday during the recording. The producer from Bandai Namco gave me a wonderful present. It's a metal built stray Gundam. Track down is the process of combining individual sound recordings from instruments into a single piece of music. It seems the music is finally complete, and Mr. Fukuda has also received the finished data. Thank you for completing the music, and happy birthday! I have received the music data, and will check it. We will soon start dubbing for the movie. Dubbing is the process of combining video with music and sound effects to complete the production. It seems that the movie's production is almost finished. Mr. Sashi's birthday present is wonderful. Under the Stry Gunnam, there is a cross laid out. This is an accessory from Beckstein, a very high-end piano. It is likely a cross or wiping the keys. Beckstein pianos can cost as much as $70,000 for the expensive models. That's an amount with which a tremendous number of gunpowder could be bought. So by the way, this photo shows the musical score composed by Mr. Sahoshi. I think I'll try to decipher this score since we have it here. It's just one sheet. So it's very short and only the beginning part of the music. So there are not many instruments. Sinith voice refers to an instrument that replicates the human voice using digital instruments. And there's a violin too. Two teams will be participating in the performance and there's also a harp. The title is M1. It might indicate the first piece of music to be worked on during the recording process. Or perhaps it means it will be the first track on the soundtrack. Surprisingly, it might even represent the theme music for M1 Astray. What do you think it means? 
Now, let's try to recreate this music. While it might not be possible to perfectly replicate the music that plays in the movie, I'll give it a shot. It seems like the music for the opening scene of the movie, or a scene that gives a hint of something about to happen. How did you feel about it? Since we have the opportunity, I will try to predict what comes next in the music. Now, will my prediction be accurate? Here is the music I've composed based on my guess of the continuation. to be music that suggests the appearance of a cool white Gunnam. Hmm? <laughs> What's the matter? Have you heard it somewhere before? It must be your imagination. Surely, it's just your imagination. The release of the movie is becoming even more exciting, isn't it? Then, let's meet again in the next program.